everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Bad Boy Gaming, Joey Moss, and today is pretty sweet. Finally got in the Secret Layer Drop Series. I got two of these boxes, Year of the Rat, and they're supposed to be two like mystery kind of cards inside of these. We're going to find out what they are. This is something new Wizards doing, basically entering the secondary market and uh, making cash off of it is what they're really doing. Uh, and then on top of that, Logan Carter sent me something, as well as Brandon Park. We're going to see what's inside of these. Hopefully nothing gets destroyed. Uh, and then also, later tonight, my homie, Boopinator, went all out. He sent me two packs of Revised from back in the day. Uh, you can find some very, very pricey vintage cards in here, including OG Dual Lands. It's going to be something to check out. I'll be cracking those in a separate video all on its own later on today. But for now, let's get into cracking Captain Skadoosh. Sweet sauce. All right, let's start tearing these open. So, Secret Layer Drop Series. Year of the Rat. This was $39.00. 99 cents purchased directly from Wizards of the Coast. And let's see what's all inside. Oh my. I will say one thing the packaging is just absolutely phenomenal. The box feels, the box has a really good feel to it, like really smooth. Not that you're paying this much for a box. Year of the Rat. Are we focused? Are we focused here? Good. There we go. On we go. All right, let's see what's up inside of one of these. Ooh. Hallelujah. It's really cool. Like, the quality they put into this is just amazing. Ooh, we got foliage. I don't think they did foliage before. So, oh, and that's the mystery card. I'm dying to see what that is. But really quick, let's just take a look at what all they do send in one of these. Get a load of that flip. Like, that's how you pull these cards out. Pretty redunculous. If I can get them out. There we go. Wow. Very crispy. Very clean. So, starting things off, we got an Ink Eyes Servant of Oni. Good old Oni. That's like um, gray and black. Like I don't think they've ever done that before. Uh, an all black and gray card. Or like white and black. You know, black and gray. Sure, whatever. Uh, Rat Ninja. I had to get this set because of this, guys. Come on. Can you, uh, can you blame me on that? Really, really cool. Very shiny. Nice. And then we got Maro Nar, Nar, Nar. The Maro Nawar. There you go. This thing's having a good old time. Oh, he's feeding all the kids, having a hunky dory day. That's cute. All rats have fear. Pretty sweet. I think that means um only black creatures can block them. If I'm not mistaken, if I am, someone just correct me. And then tap sacrifice a rat create X11 black rat creature tokens where X is number of rats you control. It gets pretty insane, my friends. Pack rat. This is kind of cool. This is, I think, what a lot of people are really in this one for. Um, this is the pack rat. Uh, pack rat's power and toughness are each equal to the number of rats you control. Sorry, not the pack rat. Still a cool card, though. Not what I was going for. For three discarded card, create a token. It's a copy of pack rat. Really, really legit. Rat colony. This is what I meant to say. Um, this was printed recently uh, in a, like a standard set. I want to say, oh, what was it? Was it Dominaria? It was around that time of Dominaria, but I don't know if it was Dominaria. Uh, but rat colony, two drop. Rat colony gets plus one, plus zero for each other rat you control. A deck can have any number of cards named rat colony. And then they give you, I believe it's five copies of Rat Colony. So pretty cool stuff there. There you have it. What is oh, what is going to be that mystery card? And we're going to open the other one too and see what's inside of that. Oh, hi, jokes. Oh, gosh. What is it? What's inside? And will the second one be the same? That's why I got two of them, just to see. Here we go. Oosh. Oh, Sarkhan the Master List. That's not too shabby. We're going to take it. Uh, stained glass planeswalker. So I, I they got to be all different then. That's pretty cool though. Nice. So these this would make a very very fine nice collection when they first advertised uh, or pr pr promoting War of the Spark. They showed in all this all the glass pane planeswalkers. You know, and some of us were taking guesses at who the planeswalkers even are because they were new to us. You know, um, but pretty pretty cool. So that comes with it as well. That is the first box of secret layer. And then we have a second one here. Now, of course, I'm not going to go over uh, all the cards again. I think that'd be rather pointless. <laughs> but I'm curious to see the value that these uh, will hold in time. I do want to see what that mystery drop is. I'm hoping for something big, like a really, really big pool, you know? Something really cool. That's what we always hope for when we open one of these. 
Year of the Rats. All right. So, again, we start with that. I'm not going to crack this open. We already know what that is. Kind of reminds me of a watch where you'd put, like, a watch on, you know? A watch. This could have been a watch box for all we know. All right. Let's open this puppy up without damaging it. What, is it stuck? It's, like, stuck. It's glued. Well, wizards, what the heck, man? It's, like, glued in there, guys. Like, I feel like I'm like, oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. That's going to, I'm just going to damage the card no matter what. I got to break the whole box down. Wow. You got to be kidding. Maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Oh my, oh, my gosh. Maybe not. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. That's, n <laughs> this has never happened before. Um, We need to take a break. <laughs> oh, my God. Ease up on the glue there, Pancho. Holy crap. All right, we finally got it out of there. Let's see what we got. No more, not another Sarkan. I'll be happy with anything other than Sarkan right now. Here we go. What's it going to be? What's it going to be, baby? Oof, I'm almost damaged from having to get, the, get out of there with the glue. Boosh. Ral Storm Conduit. Pretty legit. We will take it. Uh, not two of the most sought after, uh, you know, versions of this card. Like, it's a Fury would have been really phenomenal, but these are pretty cool, too. Sarkan and Ral Storm can do it. There you have it, my friends. So yeah, what do you guys think of the series? Um, do you like the fact that Wizards is doing stuff like this? Do you like that uh, they're making money on the secondary market? Let me know. Uh, Logan Carter sent this puppy out. We're going to get to cracking that open. Pull it back off camera for a moment. Logan, appreciate you sending this out, man. What? Oh, what is in here? Oh, Logan, what did you send, my friend? Um, I hope there's no writing on this because it's going to be really hard to get to that. <laughs> This is nutty. What'd you send, bruh? What'd you send, bruh? Logan, what'd you send, bruh? All right, trying to open this. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, there is writing on this or something, so I'm not trying to damage it. All right. Slippy, slidey. Yeah. There we go. Maybe that did the trick. I never know what I'm going to open <laughs> inside of one of these. Okay, here we go. There, okay. Oh, he did a little cleverness there. He did some cleverness there. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see what Logan sent. Get this off camera. Checking for any return address. As there is on there, that's why we pull this back over time. Okay. So I'll just fold that over. And he says, Dear Mr. Moss, thank you so much for so many funny and awesome videos over the years. They've supplied hours of enjoyment. You gotta see my latest deck, uh, my latest gameplay video. That one, I, I'm in a completely different character, man, and I'm all over the place. It's, it's a good watch for entertainment value. Um, I've watched your videos for quite some time now. I've even built the Turn 2 Infect deck. That was pretty slick. You did a video on. Currently, I'm near Cleveland for college in my desperate search for LGS. I found Great Lakes Game Emporium. I've heard of them. Fantastic shop. I highly recommend. And closed our four boosters containing cards for you. For subscribers to be chopped and car for chopped and cards I'd like signed. Thank you so much. Congrats on 100k subs. Sorry for the messy handwriting. You darn right sure you are freaking sorry. Um, okay, so cards to be chopped. Are they marked? Or do, do, are they labeled? Course at 2020. Oh. It, I, don't, I don't exactly know what's going on here. I'm just going to start opening them. Um, oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. So sign and sign. Okay, we can do that. Let's see what all we got signed here. A whole lot of signature going on here. All right. We got the Tamarit. Lizzle, the Blood Witch. All these are getting the old John Han. I feel like I can't say stuff on YouTube because maybe I censor it all. Pretty legit. And then we got, this is more signed here. Mirror Made, cool card right there. All that glitters, love it. Ooh, that's a fun one. Testosterone, good stuff. Woodfall Primus, get a load of that thing with the persist on it. Crazy little card. And Spore Frog. Not bad. Got to have a Spore Frog in there. All right. So all that's getting the old signature. I'm going to put this right back in here so I remember to do so. All right, pretty legit. And then what do we got here? And also, if you haven't received something back from me yet and you're supposed to, make sure you email me. at. I'll put it on the screen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I'll put it on the screen. Mossbergsworth at gmail.com. For me. All right. For me. For me. Oh, gorgeous, lonesome unicorn. It's glory. That's that's the sound it makes. Um, that's a, a chimera, isn't it? 
like a manticore chimera or something like that. Pretty legit right there from Born of the Gods. I think that's Born of the Gods. That's pretty sweet, man. Ultimate Unicorn. Ooh, I love me some old stuff. Rustless Attendant. Get a load of that. Uh, sacrifice it at <laughs> Grixis to your mana pool. Not bad. Five to bring that out, though. Yikes. Phyrexian Negator. Cool card. Um, is dealt damage. Sacrifice that many permits. This is one of my favorite cards, actually. That is really stupid cool. Phyrexian Negator. That's that would Trample. Whenever Phyrexian Negator is dealt damage, sacrifice that many permits. Oh, I'm thinking of Phyrexian Obliterator. That one's one of my favorites. This one's cool, too, though. I just downplayed the crap out of that. Oh, but I do love Bargarden Hellkite. That one's nasty sauce. There you go. Uh, Flash Flying, Limbo Garden, Hellcat enters the battlefield, deals five damage fight as you choose among any number of target creatures and your players. Really, really sweet, man. Appreciate sending this out. And then we got some more craziness. Marble Diamond. Wow, that takes me back to Mirage. Don't forget, guys, make sure you check out the revised booster pack opening. These, I'm not sure the exact price. I didn't look it up, but probably like 100 bucks. these go for a piece. So keep that in mind. Pretty ridiculous, man. Uh, Marble Diamond, all up in here. Pretty, pretty cool. And, oh, the Nebuchadnezzar, man. Reminds me of uh, uh, Neo, Matrix. Like, every time I hit the Nebuchadnezzar, I'm like, that's it right there. That's pretty sweet, though. Uh, for X, tap, name a card. Opponent reveals X cards from his or her hand at random. Or entire hand, if he or she does not have enough cards. Opponent then discards any of those cards that match the one you named. May only use this power during your turn. I like how they used to work things back then. It's ridiculous. Pretty sweet. And then we got what's over here. Ooh, it's like he's Season's Guide. Get a load of these, man. Uh, comes into play with eight plus one plus one counters on it. It, brings, it takes eight to bring out. If damage will be dealt, prevent that damage. Remove that, that many and put plus one plus one colorless uh, creature or spirit creature token into play. Sacrifice eight spirits. Return from the graveyard. Yikes. Beast mode. Love struck beast and it's alternate. Very, very cool. Very, very nice, my friend, indeed. Thank you for sending this stuff out. This is really cool. And the Vel Varadalath, the ancient six drop with the kicker. All other tree folk and all saplings get plus one plus one when Ver Verdalath, the ancient, comes into play. If the kicker cost was paid, put X one one green sapling creature tokens into play. I like that purple edge. Four seven. Pretty sweet, man. I thank you. I thank you kindly, my good man. I thank you kindly. What else we got here? What else we got going on here? Gives. We got the gives. All right. So, uh, I don't know. I guess, yeah, just like, share, comment, uh, and tell me um, what the... What do I, what do I want to know? What do I want to know? Um, what's your favorite card from the new set and why? There you go. And uh, someone's going to take home all this. Whoa, boy. That's pretty nasty. Hello, Vault. Uh, you got to share it on social media, guys, like your um, your Reddits, your, uh, uh, your Facebooks, you know, maybe some groups that pertain to magic, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. And say something nice about it so people actually want to watch it, I guess. Uh, and Twitter. Twitter counts, too. So, wow. This is this is a really neat opening. Very different. Okina Night Watch. There you go. Call of the Herd. Legit sauce. Legit. Sprouting Thrynex. Thrynex. This is a good little... Uh, this is pretty sweet that he did this. Wooly Thokter, man. Wow. Really, really cool stuff here. Someone's definitely going to appreciate that. So, two different people will take uh, will take home. Um, yeah, definitely like the video, hit the bell button, all that good stuff, you know, that goes that goes with it. Whew, and I'll pick two people at random. Phyrexian Processor. Oh, man. You really hooked it up, my dude. This is nutty. Uh, enters the battlefield. Pay any amount of life for four. Tap, put an XX black minion creature token on the battlefield where extra life paid. As Phyrexian Processor enters the battlefield. Wow. Wowzers. Skirk Marauder. With the morph there. Little gobble action. Man, these are old school, man. These are old school. Bogart Ram Gang. Get a load of them. What the haste? 3-3 three, three and wither. This deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. So two people are going to be extremely happy when they get their hands on these puppies, man. These are rare DCI like promo cards. Surging Flame with a Ripple 4. What even is Ripple? When you play this spell, you may reveal the top four cards of your library. You may play any revealed cards with the same name as this spell without paying the mana cost, put the rest on the bottom of your library. Surging Flame deals two damage to, any, any, uh, or to, damage to target creature or player. And a Hellspark Elemental. Trample Haste with the Unearth. Wow. It's two people are going to be extremely happy, man. That is good stuff. Awesome sauce right up in there. Um, I think I'm going to save this other one for another video, though. Brandon, I'll probably save you for the revised opening later on. Oh, wow. 
Good stuff. Or should I do it right now? No, wait, we still have one more thing to go. Yeah. So yeah, I'll Brandon, I'll do it later on. Uh, sign for LGS. I'm glad I... Oh, chop. I was like, I'm glad I didn't have to I didn't break anything. I'm glad I didn't have to break anything. Great Lakes Emporium, no doubt, man. All right. Brainstorm. Nice card. Nice card. Brainstorm. Brainstorm yet again. Really cool. I wish I was keeping these brainstorms. Uh, a place at a brainstorm. So that's really cool. Is this the owner? <laughs> Is this the owner? Great Lakes Emporium. Really cool. Out in Mentor. I've heard good things about this place. So if you guys are in the area, there you go. Uh, Great Lakes Game Emporium. Give them a look. Yep, I'm out in Ohio. That's correct. Really legit. Great Lakes Emporium, man. Thanks for sending this stuff out. Um, I'll get this signed as well. And I'm going to get this all back in the Inzy Mail. And the chop action. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy, guys. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Here we go. <clears throat> well, I do it for the fans, my friends. I got to sharpen this blade. Actually, I did buy a sharpener for my for my uh, axe here. So, yeah, we're going to get sharpened up in this piece. Dang, things are going to fall over. I already know it. Son of a beanbag. All right, guys, on the count of three. One, two, gotcha! <laughs> oh, man, what did we just do? So, Billy's crying right now. Billy, it's okay, Billy. Billy's in the background crying right now. Why'd you do that? Sovereign's Reign. Butchered. We'll see. That's a mythic. What else we got here? Oh, God, they're all bloody bleeming mythics, mate. Uh, that's one of those dudes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Another one of these dudes. Oh, no, they're all mythics. We destroyed all mythics. Yeah, they're in other, color, other, other countries. Oh, wow, that's a cool one, too. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> can't read any of them but wow uh you get the point here that was some value right there my friends that was some value joey moss what do you do with all those chopped cards joey moss what do you do with all the common cards joey moss what do you do with all the uncommon cards joey moss what do you do what do you do what do you do what do you do appreciate you guys tuning in so much uh chopped cards no one knows it's anyone's gamble man and uh i will also crack open um this over here i can't even show you it but uh it's really go from brandon park i'll crack that open um in tonight's video with the revised Stay tuned for that video. It's going to be nuts. Skadoosh.